would share with you a little trick on knitting ribbing with color changes and preventing a little pearl bump blip in the pearl channels. This is purely a cosmetic thing. It has nothing to do with the function of the sock. So you don't have to do this if it isn't something you're interested in. In this sock, I am using self-striping yarn. So the color changes happen without me having to cut or join yarn. In this cuff here, I did a knit to purl to, and I did not try to omit this little purl bump in the color change. So it is very subtle. There's just um, this little color blip in the color changes. In a previous tutorial, which I will link in one of the corners up here on the screen, I show you how to omit those purl bumps when doing color changes with different yarns. So what you do is you end up knitting around with your new color and then the next round continues your ribbing pattern. You can follow the same thing when using self-striping yarn. So here in this sock cuff, I used a contrast color to cast on and knit two rounds of ribbing. And then when I joined my self-striping yarn, I knit one round without any purls and then on this next round with the self-striping yarn, I did my knit to purl to pattern. So there is no purl blips in the color change between the two different colors. Now continuing with the self-striping yarn, when I got to my next color, it didn't matter if I was at the beginning of round or not. I would knit one round until I got to the start of that color change and then continue my knit to purl to. So to demonstrate, I have finished knitting this peachy color and in this yarn, it is starting to change to a light, a light pink. So I'm going to hold it up a little closer. Hopefully you can see the color change. It's pretty subtle there. So I've knit past my beginning of round marker, but that's okay. And I look, it looks like I have maybe a couple stitches left of this peach color. So I am going to go ahead and continue my pearl pattern until I run out of that peach color. So it looks like maybe I have one, two more knit stitches. Okay, and then now I am at this new light pink. So what I am going to do is instead of purling my next two stitches in my rib pattern, I'm going to knit all the way around until I come back to the start of this color change. So I'm going all the way around. So now I'm at the beginning of round, but I am not at the beginning of where the pink color started. So I'm going to knit past this beginning of round marker until I get to where I started with the light pink. Okay, now this is where I started knitting all my stitches regardless of the pearls and it is where I started the light pink. So what I'm going to do now is start back up my two by two rib. So I'll knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, and I will continue doing that until I get to my next new color, which will be the purple, since this ball is a three color self-striping yarn, and I will repeat what I did at the last color change. I'm going to hold these two cuffs up next to each other so you can see the difference. The one with the pearl blips here is where I did not do that knit round between color changes and then 
the one without the pearl blips and the color changes are where I did a knit round in between. I hope that is helpful. Happy knitting! Thank you.